Hello everybody, welcome back to Path of Exile. This one we're going to be taking on The Climb. This is probably going to be quite a short video in comparison to some of the others. I mean, I know we've been averaging like 15 minutes, which is pretty good actually. Um, just because we're probably going to break to get to the prison. Uh, and there's nothing too special here other than we need to make sure that we find the, um, the waypoint here. Uh, there's no amazingly good item drops. There is one thing we probably could go and... See if we can make drop because that's going to be amazing for this character specifically. And I doubt that it will because it's a rare drop. And uh, I don't know if it's something that I kind of want to get people too stuck, but Ooh, maybe we will. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see. If we can do this in under five minutes, then maybe we'll. uh, But effectively, there is a rare drop in most of these maps, particularly if they have like an, um, a unique enemy uh, or something like that. Being as we've leveled up a little bit now, I don't think it'll actually be pretty quick for us to clear said area um but in each of the maps you can so this guy here probably has a chance to drop an item it's called card now uh cards are effectively things that you need to get set off each each individual card has like a, an out of a denominator like a fraction um and i think here's the lady that we're supposed to give the cards to now which is kind of nice i wonder if we're gonna get a first one here for demonstration that'd be good in fact maybe i'll do it anyway after this video because maybe we should um, demonstrate what cards do. Now, the reason there is a place where um, early summoners maybe should farm something is because in the area where the Necromancer was, there is actually a card he can drop called Summoner. And if you get five of those cards, you can actually get a superior summoning gem. Now, it's random which one you want to get, so trying to get something good out of it could be tough. But if you get uh, like a superior uh, summoning zombie early, that's going to be like... Well, me mental isn't the word. So this is Navali. Yeah, here we go. So if you talk to her uh, when she's back in camp, I wonder where she's gone, actually. Um, you can actually give her cards. Uh, there's prophecies as well, but we can't really activate those just yet. Um, and... That basically allows you to get some pretty cool stuff. Uh, it's one of the few ways where you can actually grind for something specific that you want. Like, if you want a six-link item, uh, there are different cards and different things like that. And maybe I'll put, like, a... A link. So that is the lower prison. Let's see if we can't get a waypoint. It has a waypoint. There's also a, uh, I think, called the launch lab, which is why this kind of requires its own video. I'd rather burn than call such a yeah, place. So let's home. get the waypoint here. So I can try to work later. So we'll go ahead and clear this in a separate video. Um, we we'll go ahead and go back to the time for clear the whole thing. Uh, I think we did. We go past some seeds. Yeah, here we go. We'll go ahead and collect these seeds. As the, uh, the climb pretty much done. Leveled up again already. And we've got some harvest to get done, so we can show some more of that now. Right. Whatever the quest is, let's record the way forward. It's kind of funny. So we're going here. Let's go ahead. This way, Hopefully not get so wrecked this time. So we'll see. Wow, they do still hurt me a lot. Yeah, my zombies don't kill anything. No, they didn't. But now we can effectively kite whatever we want, right? Because I can just drop a minion. Oh, to attack. Why can't I raise anything? This is kind of a... Nothing to raise, anyway. <laughs> Just kind of funny. Don't even know what level these are. Why are they not giving me any corpses to raise? Right? That's the problem here. Lol. A good thing. Yeah, here we go. Finally. Something. Oh, 
Oh, fine. There we go. Oh, now can I? Hello. Ah, here we go. So now, hopefully. Hopefully, now's the point that we're able to start using this as a stuff. Let's have a look at what we have available. So we can. Uh, we can make a red, we can make a blue, and we can make a green if we wish to. Oh! We can reforge a normal or magic item. It's a rare item. So that means we can make a normal item into a. No, yeah, normal item or a blue item into a yellow item. We're wearing all yellow anyway. We can reforge a rare item with new random modifiers. So there's something that's just got nothing I want on it, like that. Oop. And like, including casting modifiers. That's actually kind of nice. Oh, no value one. oh, I see. It's because it wants stuff that normally gets cracked. Uh, it's because this, uh, so this doesn't have like intelligence modifiers. We've got kind of tech in the wrong gear. For that, completely the wrong gear. Who oh, doesn't like this? For a normal magic item, the cast of that sounds good. Why is it nothing? Oh. Hey! That's <laughs> got some more energy shields and resistance. That's not... There we go. If you like me uh, and there's nothing that you want, we can do this instead. These into our inventory. And now we can create some uh, new life collectors for yellow seeds if we wish to. Not had any higher level seeds drop yet, though. Go ahead and stop palm our seeds. And maybe we'll create a yellow key like this. Uh, let's go six more in there. Drilling as killing someone in cold blood. That's that too. No, that sounds like a turn. Uh, that's for a different character. I'm not doing that with this one, my buddy. Thank you very much. I'll talk to this guy a bit. Uh, we were talking about doing an ice build or something. I don't think we're going storage tank needs to do that. So now we can plan uh, storage tanks for the life force. So I guess I can actually do a bit of this now. So we can actually get a storage tank. Go ahead and put a pile on over here like this. Uh, and then now, get that there. Ooh. That to there, get that to there. What that allows us to do is it means that when we have um, energy we want to connect, we can store it in the tank. And then let's say we want to uh, eventually we'll want to uh, fertilize stuff with a hatch shaft to put some like um, different tiles and stuff up, as you guys will see, just to kind of fertilize the things to get what you want out of them. It's a bit of a rigmarole, but uh, it's a good way to try and control the way that your items. Get their stats on. Goat's horn. I don't think it. Get anything else decent drop? I don't think it did. So then let me let me talk about um, cards and one that would be good specifically for this character, right? Just because then you guys have an idea as to what I'm talking about. So let's let's just come out of here. I wonder if I've got some card stuff. Oops. We do. Ah, so here's what I want to talk about. So here we have the summoner, um, and so for six of this card, you can get a superior minion chip. Well, that means uh, quality plus twenty percent. So that's going to mean that the minions have that much life and damage more, which is good. Uh, and this guy, this card even, can be acquired in these particular areas. On here should in fact be. I did all. So you can just try and farm this quite early on if you wish to. Again, I don't feel like it's a requirement, but it will be an advantage if you get one that's particularly good for you. Uh, but it is completely random, so you're not going to get the one that you specifically want, which is unfortunate. Um, quite cool that it has a few places where it can be got. Um, so we've got Chamber of Sins, we've got Catcombs, Chaperon's Tower. So just, just bear in mind that these are a thing. Uh, if you do happen to get them, uh, or decide to get them now that we've been and seen Navali. What we can do 
you in here. And you give her... Oh, it's not there. So this is prophecy challenges. Yeah, so you'll seek prophecy here. And you'll essentially um, exchange cards. Good stuff. Why have we not got... We haven't got a flame dash. I thought we'd have it. Here we go. Like it's gonna be here. Where is it? 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 It's not that many double supports here, instead. We've already got minion damage. I'm gonna want another one anyway, so I guess that's not terrible. Let's hope it's flame dash. I'm gonna purchase it. What little help I can offer is really want flame dash for flame. Flame. Oh, no flame dash yet. We'll go ahead and sell stuff though. Of sorts of stuff out. But anyway, um, so as you guys might imagine, if you guys want to uh, want to try and farm that summoning card, I'm not going to. You can just use the uh, control click method. Uh, go in and kill the boss of the area, come back out and keep on doing that. Uh, so the only card that drops in there, so maybe it's a good place to actually farm it. But, um, well, until I test it. Well, that's it. But it may be good. Maybe a good way to get um, superior minion gems. That's specifically what you're after. Either way, guys, that's basically going to be the end of this uh, the end of this episode. In this one, in this next one, we're going to be doing um, the prison. Now, I feel like there should be a Lord's challenge in here, so we'll keep an eye out for that. So, and we'll be getting we'll get in that done. I'll explain more about it. We're going to do it in the as a part of the walkthrough, and then I'll explain actually what it does once we get to the point where we can use it. So, hopefully, I've not been too confusing, and I'll see you all in the next video.